Hi all, it's Denise, and I am going to talk today about art projects, but art projects coming up that I'll be doing while we're on the road. We're taking a road trip and actually seeing part of the country that we've been wanting to do for a long time. And uh, I can't imagine being away from my studio that long without playing with art. So I've created a couple little little take-alongs with me, so I've always got something to work on. Um, I'm hoping along the way to pick up odds and ends and bits and pieces, whether it be a leaf off the ground when we take a walk or a find in a thrift store along the way. Not really sure. I'm open to it all, but I want to be prepared. So what I've done is I've taken a couple of cigar boxes out of my um, collection of things to work on. And I used the cold uh, wax that I talked about in one of my previous videos. And I collaged um, cigar boxes. Now this one is going to be my pochade box, my little travel pochade box. And it's very compact. And it's all for me, this will be for me to do paintings with. So let me scoot everything out of the way so I can get a better picture of it. And so here's my little Peshad box. I just created, you know, a piece of burlap ribbon to hold it up. It doesn't need to hold a lot of weight because I'll just be working on small pieces. In this case, I took a board from a Scrabble, an old Scrabble game, and attached it to the top so it will easily close. But when I open it, I have a little space to do my artwork. Um, I can work on small canvases or I can work on watercolor paper and just clip it on to the top and there you go. I have somewhere where I can work on a piece uh, on a watercolor. So I've collected together just very bare minimum. Um, I have, I won't be working with oils or anything toxic. I'm just going to use watercolors. So I have watercolor paper. I have some um, specialty handmade papers. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those in crafts or in my painting. Not quite sure yet. I have my very well used little travel watercolor set. So that, that's going to be great. Love that. Um, I'm taking along my watercolor pencils. And with that, a little spritzer of water for when I am doing watercolors. I have a selection of pencils and brushes, nothing fancy, just a couple sizes that I know I can get by with. I'm working small, so that will be fine. Pencil sharpener, eraser, and a small set of uh, oil pastels, should I, I need to use those. Not really sure what I'm going to use but I think I'm covered in the uh, painting department for all of this. And then this is nice, it just closes up and that, that is my Pushad box. Then my little craft box, also a cigar box that I decorated with, uh, collaged with papers that I've done on my jelly plate printed papers. This one's kind of cool because it already has a little latch. I don't need an easel on this one uh, because this is just to hold my craft supplies. I have some printed envelopes in case I want to write a letter or send things on to anyone while we're traveling. In one of them I have a collection of different papers and things I might use in a collage uh, or in my, my craft work. So I've got that prepared and ready to go. And then I have, you might remember, I did some little travel journals, little meandering travel journals. I'll be taking some of those with me to kind of, I've made them, but I've never actually done anything with them. So I'll be exploring that while we're on our trip. And my little Altoid tin travel meandering box. So that'll be fun to play with. Of course, I've got glue. And I've got wire, in case I want to wrap anything up. Scissors, always scissors. Um, I have some masking tape, some twine, a selection of washi tapes, because those always come in handy. And uh, a couple little ink, 
ink pads. So that is going to, I think, pretty much cover me for any uh, art, any crafts that I wanted to, to be working on while I'm on the road. And then I have this uh, reproduction ledger with paper that I can press things, paint things, collage things. Um, I'll have that with me. And I also am taking my journal that I've been working on and, and I've showed parts of this to you before. And I've gone ahead and pre, let's see where I've done that. Pre, um, printed some backgrounds. So I have that to work with while I'm on the road and then plenty of open space to play with as well. So while I'm on the road, this is what I'm taking with me. It's a nice, neat little stack. I have the perfect place in our, in our travel vehicle to put it. Um, I can take them out, use them at a picnic table, use them in a hotel, wherever we tend to be staying that particular night or day. And really looking forward to exploring where we're traveling and to continue playing with my art because that's who I am. I cannot not do art um, during the day what I do. So I hope this is helpful. I'm sure that you have lots of tips uh, and tricks for travel journals and travel art. And if you do, please, please feel free to leave a comment and give me some ideas. We're not leaving for a couple of weeks, but I'm really trying to be prepared. So uh, let me know what your ideas are. And thanks for watching. Happy trails.